Welcome YouTube, my name is Hayes, the awesome combination between a sneakerhead and a veterinarian, hence the shoe vet. Make sure you strap yourself in today guys, we got a lot to go over. I've been collecting a lot of apparel for the past couple months, including one of the most polarizing and kind of obnoxiously priced ponchos I never thought I'd ever own. So definitely stay tuned for that. Much love to all my returning clients if you wish to become one. Three simple steps. First and foremost, hit the subscription button down below as well as the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload. Also, follow me on Instagram. The handle is Hayes underscore TSV. That will be in the link below. But with that out the way, let's go ahead and get things started because we have a whole lot to get through. All right, so starting with this first package. Oh, I, I know what this is. So this is from the artist Blue the Great. And if you aren't familiar with him, he did... And if you aren't familiar with him, he did make a pretty, pretty dope looking uh, Air Jordan Mid, part of the Fierce Collection. I actually still have yet to review mine. I've just been so caught up with keeping up with things that are coming out, uh, as well as just work. So it's coming though. All right, so starting out here. So what I got from him, I got this actually really nicely wrapped up hoodie. I like how they did this, honestly. Oh, this is inside out and it's not and inside the hood. Okay. All right, so presentation, love it. I like how they did that. Unwrap, hit it, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, this came out swell. All right, so as you see here, so as you see here, I uh, got a Kobe hoodie, number eight on the back. Obviously, with respects to his untimely death with the helicopter crash. And if I'm not mistaken, it was, I think it was all the profits or all proceeds or whatever uh, goes to his mama foundation. So that's something that I definitely have to jump in and support. Also kind of like the artwork, you know, you can kind of look at his font. Uh, it kind of has a little bit of a cartoonish vibe to it. And then on the back, man, you got that purple and gold number eight. You got the halo at the top. You got Kobe and quotations at the bottom kind of in that same cool font. You got the eight that is all in gold and wrapped in a purple, kind of like that stuff they put mummies in. Obviously, legends never die, but he was definitely a slayer on the court. So actually, so actually too, out of respect, I think I'm gonna put this on for the rest of the video. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, just how I like to. Ooh, yeah, definitely, definitely true to size. Yeah, if they're still, I don't know if he's still selling this on his website, uh, but if he is, true to size is definitely the way to go. That's first thing out the way. All right, moving along. What do I want to do next? Ooh, let's go with this. Oh, yes. Favorite artist. Now, if you know me, and if you don't, you're about to find out, my favorite artist of all time is The Weeknd. I I've been a big fan of him ever since House of Balloons. That is actually my all-time favorite album. Mixtape, album, whatever you want to call it. It's one, of, it's one of actually the few, it's actually one of the few albums that I can actually play straight through without skipping a single song. That's actually kind of rare for me these days. All right, so coming up, we got some official merch. Official XO merch right here. We got The Weeknd on the front. Uh, he dropped this when he dropped uh, his first single off his upcoming album, Heartless. This is obviously the album cover of Heartless 2 as well. That was gonna be my theme of 2022 as well, Heartless 2020, but man, I'm too sensitive. <laughs> uh, just being frank with it, man. I'm too sensitive, I can't do it. Let's see, and I got this in a small. Comes in a plastic bag, XO front on the top. All right, now running down the shirt, again, we got a photo print of the weekend in his new, you know, kind of retro look. Obviously having the time of his life in Vegas. And I'm still kind of like, why did you not let me know you're in Vegas? <laughs> Come on, man, we're supposed to be friends. So you got the EXO tag on it, and then on the back, what I really, really like, you got Heartless kind of at the top of the back. And you have this weird, like, little line, like, going down through the spine. I don't really know what the line is about, but I like it. And I mean, that's pretty much it for the shirt. I mean, like I said, I'm a huge weekend fan. So, you know, he's dropping stuff like this, and I'm a cop. But, uh, no, this shirt, definitely, I'm super looking forward to the, you know, album that's coming out, I think, on the 20th of March. We got a whole another like, 10 days as of recording this video right now. Uh, the single so far looking good. I'm not a music review channel, but, I mean, Heartless, I was definitely rocking Heartless for a long time. 
uh, still sort of kind of am. Blinding lights, eh, grew on me a little bit, it was straight. Uh, after hours though, oh, that's my, that's it right there. That's, that's it right there, man. All right, now speaking of merch from artists right now, we got a definite big. Well, I don't, I don't even want to say up and coming right now. I think he's, you know, there and probably gonna even go further right now. Mr. Roddy Rich, Mr. The Box himself, had a couple, had a couple, couple pieces from uh, his online store. So starting out, we got right here. We got a hat, a beanie, nice little beanie, good for the fall, winter, and kind of cooler spring times right here on the front. Please excuse me for being antisocial in that same font that's on the album cover. Oh yeah, and it's nice. Embroidered in, real nice looking detail. I don't think there's anything on the back or inside. Nope, absolutely not. Oh yes, this is nice, this is nice. Let's go ahead and put this on. Comfortable. That yeah, feels nice. I mean, it uh, feels nice. Um, it doesn't really feel like it's made out of any like special, you know, high, high quality material. Uh, and I guess, you know, I kind of get, I know he's, you know, he's got a huge wave right now. Slap the label on it or slap, you know, something concerning Roddy Rich on and boom, there you go. Makes sense. All right, coming down to the next piece that I got from Mr. Roddy. Black t-shirt, simple black t-shirt. Again, you got the album name on the side. All right, now coming up next to Mr. Roddy Rich, got a simple black t-shirt. Again, album title, please excuse me for being antisocial. Kind of towards the upper left chest area. Ooh, ooh, but this one's nice. Okay, all right, so we got on the upper left chest, please excuse me for being antisocial. But then you got on the back too as well, nice and big. The only issue that I have is that it's, it's like screen printed on there. So I'm a little bit cautious about it kind of, you know, flaking and chipping, you know, after some washes. So we're gonna be careful with that, but oh well. And last but not least, for Mr. Roddy again, we got your hoodie. And that nice polar bear white color. All right, all white hoodie, black font. Please excuse me for being antisocial. Upper left of the chest. And then you got it all the way in the back too as well. Nice and big for you. The hoodie seems a little big though. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm gonna put some B-roll footage up a little bit later. This is a little bit oversized. I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of oversized. Oh well. All right, what next are we getting into, Hayes? Let's go with minimal. Hey. Everybody likes minimal. All right, here's my receipt, minimal order. Got two pieces that they just recently dropped. Definitely excited to finally get these and try these on for you guys. All right, so we'll first get into the pants. So these are their B152 stretch denim pants that they just recently released. Got it in all black. I think it also came in a blue color. Ooh, quality. Okay, straight out the bag. Quality, this feels good. Kind of has a little glossy kind of look to it as well. Oh, it was made out of straight just 100 cotton maybe. Definitely has that premium kind of feel and look to it. I like this. All right, so it's made out of 75% cotton, 25% polyester, dry clean only. And I can see why, because this is actually really nice. Real silky smooth. I got mine in a size 29. I sized down once, just because I like wearing things without a belt. All right, now the interesting part about these pants is, I mean, your waist, I mean, you can go true to size and probably be fine. Again, it's just my personal preference to go down uh, one size. Now, the interesting part about these pants is, I mean, with the, with the sizing, I mean, you can go your true to size uh, for your waist. I This is my personal preference with minimal to go down one size. But, primarily with these pants, and I don't know if showing it like this, I'll definitely put some B-roll footage on, but like this, you can kind of tell that the end of the leg kind of, you know, flares out. Kind of gives it that boot cut look a little bit. These are definitely gonna style well with things like, you know, Chelsea boots, if you're still into those. Uh, well, boots in general, honestly. Some high top shoes. I'm a little skeptical about how it's gonna look with low top shoes, but definitely highs. Overall though, for the price I paid for, which was, I forgot how much I paid for this. Jesus Christ, hey, we're just buying stuff. Oh well, the link to the description, the link to this will be in the bio anyways, but I think it was like maybe like $60, $70, something like that. You know Minimal doesn't really break the bank. Lastly, what I got from Minimal is this mohair striped sweater. 
boy, I'm gonna have to have fun with this before it starts heating up out here. Very delicate, but I like it. It's nice and hairy. <laughs> Very thin though. Oh yeah, it's so thin, I can almost, almost see through this completely. Almost. Very nice and delicate, but yeah, definitely wearing this over something. I think it's just, I think it's like a real good like date night piece, you know? Take the missus out around town, you know, go to the movies, a nice restaurant afterwards. Yeah, this is nice. This is, this is very nice. And with those, and especially with the pants that I just took out to as well, again, put on a really, really nice pair of boots, those pants, this shirt, a little, like a black t-shirt underneath it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the move right there. That's the move right there. All right, now moving on, we got something from Kith. Now, I haven't really been too much of a Kith shopper. I've gotten a pair of Converse's from Kith, and then I also got, in my opinion, the greatest hoodie ever made in existence. If you haven't watched that video yet, definitely go check that out in the bio. There also should be a little card hovering around up here, somewhere up here. Uh, definitely click that because that hoodie, at least to me, is extraordinary. Now, a couple weeks ago, Kith did a collaboration with The Godfather. I was able to cop a crew neck off of there. I know, I remember retail was 150. A little expensive, actually pretty expensive for a crew neck, but it is what it is. Overall though, quality wise though, I mean, Kith, I haven't really seen anything. I haven't bought much from Kith, but from what I've been seeing, I haven't really seen Kith, you know, slack away from the quality. I mean, this right here is sturdy. It's definitely pretty heavy. Um, let's see, made out of, what are we made out of? Feels like all this cotton. Oh, no say. Oh well. All right, anyways. Yeah, made out of a really, really heavy cotton. On the front, you got your big, bold Kith logo with the Godfather puppet hand above it. It's all embroidered, and I mean, Again, like I just I just gotta give my nod to them for the quality of it. I mean, it feels very, very premium, very, very sturdy. Uh, this is something I'm probably gonna, you know, have dry clean. I don't wanna mess up with my washing machine, uh, but it's, it's very, very nice. Uh, down on one of the sleeves, forget which one, I think it's the left sleeve. Let's see here, yeah, on the left sleeve, yeah, on the left sleeve, you have Paramount Pictures, it's kind of screen printed on. So that part may kind of crackle, but yeah, this embroiderment though, it's nice. Nothing on the back, it is what it is. I got mine an extra small, so what I realized from the hoodie, I feel like Kiff's a little on the oversize -y type side of things. So yeah, I did size down to an extra small for this, and I mean, it still fits me. This is a smidget big, but if, if it was a small, it probably would've swallowed me up, to be frank with you. You know, I ain't that big. I'm, you know, five, six, five, seven, you know, on a good day, you know, you know what it is. Short guy stand up. <laughs> We're going far, damn it. <laughs> okay. Now. Got my little Jacques Slade going on. All right, anyways, now. Where is it? For the moment you guys have been waiting for, because I got a lot to talk about this, man. This daggone Tom Sex. <laughs> this daggone Tom Sex poncho, man. Let's hop to it. Let's start from the price because the price is gonna really dictate a lot of how I feel about this. Okay, price, $500. I know, go ahead and type in the comments right now how much I took an L. I know I took an L on this, but you know, I did it for you. I did it for you so you don't have to, okay? <laughs> no, I mean, I was kind of always kind of interested in this anyways. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about getting the overshoe uh, after I kind of re-up after a while, but yeah, $500. Okay, now, this is what it came in. I, I've opened it up, as you can see, but this is what it came in. Otherwise, it was just in a normal, like, little, like, little mail bag, basically, okay? $500 and you just bag it up? Sax, sir. Are you kidding me? I mean, I know you've got enough money, you and Nike combined, to at least give you, at least have a like a, a premium unboxing. You know, at least put it in an actual like the Nike shoe box that you get the the Mars yards and everything like that. How's all ha, how it has all the scribble all over it? You could at least put that in this. You know, you could have at least put this in that. Excuse me, <laughs> I flipped it. But yeah, 
Like, I'm, I'm thoroughly disappointed in that. As much as you charge for this and you just put it in a little measly ass little bag and just mail it like that, like, I think that's like unacceptable. To be frank with you, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Sachs, if you're watching this. Nike, if you're watching this too, you know, I love you, but come on, do better. Okay. Anyways, rant over. Getting to the actual poncho. I mean, it's not just a poncho, it's also a waist bag, you know, so you can actually, you know, you know, tie it around you and put stuff in it. It does have a zipper at the top with a nice little compartment. So it does double up for that. The bag, so the outside of the bag is comprised of kind of this nylon mesh material. It's the same material that the Marjard Overshoe is made of, the shroud part at least. It's that same material. So if you've ever felt that, it's just, this is just what it is. Uh, it is pretty cool though, because it does give it that kind of, you know, outer spacey look, you know, that kind of outer spacey vibe to it. I mean, the details in the stitching are pretty cool as well. Uh, you got a whole bunch of hooks, like one smack dab on the front that does kind of enclose the poncho part. You got a couple hooks on the side, you know, to kind of help, you know, keep it together and you need to tie it around your waist too. You got a couple of hooks, you got like, you know, one like front and center to kind of help enclose the part with the poncho. You got some hooks on the side, you know, that kind of probably is decorative, but also kind of helps you, you know, tighten it when you tie it around your waist. Uh, as I previously mentioned, I mean, like I said, I mean, the stitching kind of adds, you know, a little, little detail, a little character to it. Also, like I said, you know, it is a functional, it is an actual functional, you know, waste bag, so you can unzip it. It has a fairly nice size compartment to put your things in. One thing cool that I learned about, you know, this bag is on the end of the zipper, these little, like, little rock, these little clay rock things, whatever like that, each one is actually individually made, so, I mean, that is pretty cool, I, I, I'll give them that. Um, I don't know if I have the, I don't know if I can find the video, I'll have a little clip of them actually making each and every one. Uh, it is a YKK zipper too as well, so it is pretty sturdy, you know, it is pretty sturdy. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything like that, so they at least put a premium zipper on there. Inside the bag, you got your tag, made in Vietnam, 100% nylon, cool. And then you got Nike, Tom Sachs, exploding poncho, one size, all right. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Again, like, I do like the little spacey look and feel to it all. Um, I think that is really dope about it. Um, you know, it does have some pretty, you know, cool accents. Like, I think I mentioned the stitching like twice now, probably. Uh, something I didn't mention, so you have a signature 10 bullets uh, kind of, you know, stitched on to the side of the waistband. You also have this metallic clasp on the back where you will clip the bag around you when you tighten it down. You have another one of these little, like, little moon rock or little clay rock thingies on the edge of the uh, tassel. And I mean, yeah. It's, it's cool, but would I recommend this full full price? Hell no. Um, no, I, <laughs> why did I get this? Again, I'm, I was curious about it, you know, had the money and everything like that, yada, yada, yada. I'm so upset that I missed on the restock of the overshoe though. I think I missed it by like seven minutes and it sold out. And I was so freaking upset because I actually, I actually do like that overshoe. I've tried it a few times at Urban Necessities and I'm gonna get it eventually. This is gonna take me some time. That I'll pay for. I know. You're probably thinking, hey, you're gonna take another L. But whatever. That's an L I'm willing to take. This though, mm, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, now really the only thing left is to explode.
All right, now I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're back in, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Again, this is all some apparel that I've been, you know, collecting for the past couple of months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, become a client, subscribe down below, notification bell, follow me on Instagram, Hazel underscore TSV, that's the shoe vet. I'm on IG. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good rest of your day. See you in the next video.